Got your old new haircut. He's ready for summer, isn't he? Got your old new haircut. Got your eyes. I can see your eyeballs now, buddy. So Ace has got a bath and a clip for the summer. Well, Ain't you? he'll have to go back. <laughs> she didn't want to cut all his long hair off. No. She said it looks so good on him. Come on, buddy. Oh. Well, good morning, everybody. Morning. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes, and behind me is our beautiful, amazing, unbelievable Incredibox for such the price it was unbelievable. A 20-footer right here, originally it's $25,000, and we're going to show you today the difference between our new panels and our old panels because we do have a new Incredibox coming out. The new Incredibox. Now. This is the older Incredibox, or the original Incredibox. It's 16 foot, that's a 20 footer. But we're just gonna show you the difference in the panels, what it looks like, and there's an upgrade in price, and what's going on. And this is gonna be coming out here shortly in a couple months that we'll be, we'll be offering these new paneled Incrediboxes. So, with, further, with no further ado, let's show you a little bit about the Incredibox. On the original Incredibox, you guys can see how it's assembled together. So I brought this sample out here. And as you know, these are door remnants, right? They come out of old doors, like not old, but brand new doors that they cut out the, the glass part of a steel door. And this is the part they cut out. So there's pieces put together. We put a 45 degree angle on it. We put spray foam, we slide them together. And then we screw them together with all these fasteners. Now this process has been proven for over 30 years to work, all right? And other buildings that's been built with these types of panels. The panel is approximately two inches. I would say two inches because it's a one and seven eighths and something, so it's about two inches. Now, we have been building, we probably built over 600 of these homes. I've taken these panels, we've tested them with strength, we've tested them with hot, cold environments to prove how the the heat and cold does not penetrate through that thickness of spray foam now this is closed cell polyurethane spray foam and this is the doors you can see i'm going to delaminate it just a little bit okay see i'm going to pull that off see and now this is steel inside and outside and that sticks to it because it's extruded in there extruded in there when they're building these panels and it sticks to it so as you can see the fasteners, again, how we put them together. See how that's really nice and tight. It's a great system. I love the system. The biggest benefit I think about this system is that we're using materials that would normally go into a landfill. Man does always love that part about, yeah. gosh, let's think about this. It would just be piled up as trash, right? And we've been able to build good sound structures, you know, I'm with solid. this, with this house. We've had over 5,000 pounds on top of that roof of, of simulating a snow load. They're lightweight. This whole house, the 16 footer, is about 4,300 pounds without your belongings inside. An amazing feat with house, a house this big. You guys have seen videos of before and after and you paint it and how it can kind of obscure the, the screws, you don't see them, or you can put stucco or wood or anything on the outside. It's a DIY, it's made to do it yourself. Um, decorate, decorate it, you say, yourself. decorate it yourself. Yeah. So that's what it's made for. And we still love these homes. You're, so you're gonna ask me, so then Randy, why would we went to these new panels, okay? Before I show you what these new panels look like and how they're fastened and all that, the reason we even thought about even my mind even went to somewhere, and I actually thought about this when we first started these door panels, is that how relatively, relatively available are these panels? Well, it's always dominated or dictated by the door industry. So if our economy goes down, the building industry goes down nationwide, all these door um, factories are not gonna build doors and we're not gonna have these available to us. I can't build a company on not knowing if our raw materials are going to be available or not, right? So I have to think outside the box, what else can we can do? Well, when I first started engineering and thinking about a lightweight, cost-effective home, 
I looked into this because these are commercial panels. These are panels that a factory builds them. They're very popular. They're all over the country, but they're mo mostly made for commercial buildings, high rises, um, factory warehouses and stuff like that. And it's a new product that's being uh, made. It's not a leftover of anything. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's so it's, it's created. created. We don't have to wait for raw materials. We don't have to wait for doors to be sold. It's so it's available whenever we wanted. And I wanted to do that when I first started doing the Incredibox and using that, <clears throat> but it's more expensive. And I wanted that house to be right at 20 grand. I wanted us to be able to build it and get it out. And that's why I thought, you know what? Let's do this. I'm familiar with this system. Um, I've known about it for years and years and years. And so I implemented it into building a home so it'd be cost effective. Okay. Well, because of the raw materials are not gonna be available all the time, I have to be ready for this. So this is why we're introducing the new panels and let me show you how they work. These panels here are the same spray foam, polyurethane closed cell spray foam inside. This is two and three quarters, all right? Instead of the inch and seven eighths, which would be about right here. So it's almost an inch thicker. Mm -hmm. It's also coming with this joinery that comes together right here and you can hook these together. Let me see, now this is a, I'm gonna have to, I'm on my own here. So let's see here. Wait a minute, here we go. One's cut one way. Now, if you can get on here and show right on the top how this fits together, put your hand right there and hold that against that okay. so I don't, can't move it. And how this slides right in. Oh yeah. And see how that, you got all this ribbing in here just like a puzzle piece. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it apart. I'll put it again. And then on the outside, you just have this small seam. I see. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's no fasteners on the outside of the house. Right. Now we're gonna show you the house that's built like this, but right now I just wanted to show you the joinery and how this works. Now, when we put this together, we put a butyl glazing adhesive that it's, it's a commercial adhesive that you would see in these high rises, all the glass, and then if you was ever, I love going up to wind. I look at these big buildings yeah. and I'm like, how come there's no trim around any of the glass? Mm -hmm. And it's got this really thick, um, a butyl rubberizing that holds the glass in 50, 80 stories high, right? That's amazing. Well, that's the same stuff we squirt inside this channel and then we shove it together, which en ends up being a, an adhesive to keep them together that you really don't need, but it's also a form of waterproofing Air, air going through it and of course holding it together so with uh with that said let's come over here and show you this house as you can see across here there are no fasteners anywhere in the house on the outside you you mean screws? screws so there's no screws anywhere along the seam anywhere here this is flashing now this is the first one we've done this is a prototype that we're doing we played around with some window trim as you can see there's no fastening or screws along this window trim here we do have them along here i've opted to thinking about well we could put wood along the bottom wood on the corners i just don't want to put any wood anywhere on this house because then it's going to have to be replaced eventually right. these homes with this metal on the inside and outside and the way this is put together, I don't really know the longevity of this home. I mean, from just me thinking about steel and it's painted and it's on a steel chassis, I don't see what's going to make it rot, right? Well, and to the, the longest, probably, um, the test, a testament would be the sheds because they've been built out of this material for how many years? 40 years? Well, I've, known, I've known this to be... Uh, 30 years, I've been in Tennessee. Yeah. When I come to Tennessee, I've seen sheds built out of the door remnant panels, mm -hmm. right? And this can come in a thicker steel and all this stuff, but we've got an equivalent steel thickness yeah. on both of them. But those sheds are 30 years old that I've seen. Yeah. They look exactly like they did 30 years ago. Absolutely. Yeah, so with that said, these are our new panels that we will be coming out with probably in about two to three months. It's an upcharge to have these panels. And the reason it's an upcharge is because of they cost more. 
and you could understand why. Let me get this other panel, Amanda, and show you the, the difference between them now. And we can show you why there's an upcharge. And of course, because this is a remnant, right? So this is something that's discarded in the trash. Now I have to pay for these. Yeah. I don't have a contract with all the door factories in the world to be able to send these remnants to me. They come from somebody who's already been doing that for 30 years and they've got contracts with all the factories yes. that takes their remnants. Um, so as you can see this and this, wow, the difference in the thickness, mm -hmm. the joinery, as you can see, it's a manufactured joinery where we, ma we make our own joinery. Mm -hmm. So that difference there, see that? Yep. Wow. So there's a big difference and you can see that's going to be, that's going to reflect in the price of these. Now. I live in a home with the original panels. I love the original panels. It's warm, it's dry, it's been good, it's been cool in the summers. We put these old panels up against the wood stove that was five, 600 degrees for an hour or two and on the back side it was yeah. still 72 degrees. That's amazing. So the heat will not penetrate, penetrate through this. And I've always said, we do not need any more insulation than here, but with an extra inch, I've been told by the foam companies that you're going to gain, you gained 94% of efficiency with two inches, all right? Which means you've only got four more percent to be 100% and you can't ever be 100% efficient. But if you take this, now we've gotten that extra inch right here and it's, you gain what, 4% um, efficiency? The other part of it is strength. So you're going to have a lot of strength built in this. So you can imagine when we spray foam a home, like regular stick framed, it creates such a strength on the house. We've told the difference. You can hit the wall. Remember the house that was picked up by a, by a tornado thrown into Mississippi and then floated. The roof didn't come off. The floors, the walls, nothing imploded, nothing. It stayed together. It floated like a cooler. This is yeah. the contributing factor to that is this spray foam. Yeah. All right. So take now take two and three quarters of an inch foam with this joinery and you can see the difference and let me put this you know what i'll set this right here amanda okay. what do you say chuck now chuck. <laughs> so look at this now visually you can see a big difference yeah all right mm -hmm. yeah so what i want to do is i love this original plan to build homes out of remnants, keep the cost of the house down. This home here, this is a 20 foot home with these panels. We've sold for 25 grand all day long. And this is our top selling model is our 20 foot Incredi box. Out of this panel, it's 25,000. Yeah. Out of these new panels, and we're gonna show you the inside, mm -hmm. is a $5,000 upgrade. Okay. All right, you can see it's a, it's a little bit stouter You know, wow. that one will give a little bit because it's thinner, mm -hmm. right? It's just a thicker. It's just like having a guy here at six foot six and he weighs 300 pounds. He's going to be a lot stouter than me. It's just the way it is. Is he better than me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I'm, I'm the remnant, all right? And this is the big boy right here. It looks real pretty. But I'll give him a run for his money all day long. Something I want you to talk about is the color. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is a gray color. We've been told by the manufacturer this can come in different colors. The dilemma that we're going to have with different colors is that this is an assembly line. Yes. And as you guys know, if we had, you know, five, six, eight colors out here that were always different and we got different numbers of homes, it's going to be a logistical nightmare keeping up with colors and we're going to have them stockpiled everywhere. So I've opted out of any color, any coloring whatsoever because I want to keep the cost down even more. We will have in the future, these will be white on the inside and white on the outside. This is an almost completely smooth texture. Now this one is a prototype. On the inside, it has a textured surface, okay. kind of like if you go anywhere where there's a Mediterranean look down in Florida, out west. They'll do the stucco and they do it. We call it a knockdown when I was in construction and doing sheetrock. 
and it's so that's got that textured finish. In the future, these panels will be smooth on the inside and the outside, just like the original panels that are smooth on the inside and smooth on the outside. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go inside and see what this looks like. All right. So this one, we're in the shade a little bit. It might be a little bit different in, in the visually how you can see this, but again, I'm going to point you out. There are no screws on any of these panels, right? We're going to come up with a little bit of different trim on this. This is again, this is our first prototype that we come up with. Um, it is still a DIY to some point of it's not a completely finished. The only upgrade of the $5,000 is because the panels cost us. The panels actually cost us almost $8,000 right. per house. I'm only one up five. It's just like, guys, we've got to figure out how we can build them faster so we can keep the cost down and somewhat of our profits up right. so we can make a living here, right? So let's go inside. What? Uh, one of the, yeah. Just one of the things that you mentioned in that, on the assembly line, does it is it uh, taking less time without having to pop in some We don't know, don't know yet because we've only built one and then we've got a, a okay. none for it's been a custom home a friend of mine we're building one for well, that's something to look so we to. really don't know how fast how we're gonna, we've been thinking this through it's a complete re-engineering of the assembly line yeah so with that said we're probably going to have to have two assembly lines so we're going to have mm -hmm. one with the old original panels and one with the new new panels that we have here so and can you ballpark how many screws are actually in the original Oh, we should have a contest. We had a we had a count that John made a yeah. count of them on here, so. Because I mean, if you can if you can look, you can see it takes a lot of labor. Yeah. To put these together and to put all these in, to put the screws in. But you know, Amanda, we've got these automatic screw screw guns. Yeah. And these guys screw this fast, actually. Wham, 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 just yeah. like that. They're mm -hmm. going right, and. I like this system. I mean, I love I it, love too. it, love it. If we would have never had a shortage of these doors, I don't think I would have ever went with the new panels. No, there's no reason to. We just can't be held hostage like that. Right. So that's why we're coming up with this new new home. The guys love it. The people love it. Everybody loves it. And I mean, I do too, but man, I don't know. I just, I love, I love the idea behind this Incredibox the remnants and everything we're doing. Well, and too, if you'll look at the, you know, the house pictures that we've posted and the one that just went to Florida and Randy's house and everything, when you paint it, my gosh, you don't see the screws. It's gorgeous. You put window boxes and things right. like that and decorate it up. It looks fantastic. It looks Either great. or. So, but, but, but look, let's do this. Okay. Show that. Yeah. Try to do quick, just Amanda, I just want you to be able to go like this. I'm not sure they can see it good, but we'll see. Maybe go on the other side where there's sun. Let's do it on the other side. And just do a quick boom, 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 boom. Let's do it like that. Okay, so there's the original panel. Yep, and then look at that. There. Before and after, or two different ones. I love having the options because everybody's budget is different and everybody's yeah. needs are different. So. Well, this is, all right, so, you know, I'm in a dilemma. Think about it. I love this home. I'm selling these homes. I will continue to build and sell these homes. I actually live in one. This one right here is probably our future because they're available. We will not ever go without. The, the, cust the uh, manufacturer will absolutely build as many as we need whenever we need them, and they're available forever. It's stronger, it's thicker, it is well, it is more insulated, and the snow load on this, I couldn't tell you what it's gonna be. It's gonna be more than this, just because of what we said, comparing me with a big man next to me that's muscular and six foot six, and you know, I'm not gonna be able to pick up as much, but I'll tell you what, you can, I can still work, I can still produce, and I can still make things happen. This is just gonna be b bigger and better because of, the size of it. And just so everybody knows, this is an 8 by 16 yep. this is an 8 by 20 An 8 by 20 This is just yeah. showing you the panels, not the size of the home. Okay. All right. right. We said we were going inside. I know. That's okay. We had some other questions. That's fine. All right. Come on. Let's go inside. So now we can see the inside. Remember, this is a textured uh, surface, not smooth like the outside. The new ones will probably be t um, smooth oh, on the inside okay. and outside. I did not see but look okay. at look at this now. This is our first one we've ever done. 
two, remember it's two and three quarters thick. We put some trim. We're still using, we're still using the, what's that? Look at that. Okay. I know. Good. With no fasteners, no screws. Yeah. Anywhere on these things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're still using the metal right here. We're still using that. We're still using metal around the windows. Look at the windows now. The windows shows the different thickness. On the original panel, the window was the same thickness as the wall. Now we have this coming out that much more thicker, right? Okay. So we got different trim inside. Mm. Now it's still made as a decorate yourself. You can still trim this out with wood. We haven't, we haven't put any wood finishes in it except for our base. Mm -hmm. And you know, what my whole philosophy behind this is that we're trying to keep the cost down for you all to be able to come in here and do a little bitty things yourself or mm -hmm. live you can live the way it is right right this one like i said with the panels being thicker the way it's fastened together it is going to be stronger it is going to be a little bit heavier it's and and that's a good question so the strength the 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 weight on this is I figured it up is what was it uh, one panel it's a half a pound more per square foot okay and so this is about 500 square foot so this home is about 250 pounds heavier okay. than its counterpart okay, that's okay? okay 250 pounds different so it's really not that much difference in it okay yeah so as you guys can see look at the ceiling how it's smooth it is well one of the things this is the color correct this is what the exterior color will be and the interior color. yeah so one of the perks <clears throat> of this is you won't have to paint it if you don't want it to be if you want it to stay white it can stay white right right so you could add whatever color shutters you wanted you paint the door Paint the trim if you want to, but right. you don't have to change, you don't have to paint the whole yeah. house. Now, if you want an Airbnb, you can still add this big bay window to this. You can add the, the seated bay window, a picture window. We can eliminate a window or not. We can still do an add a box with this new material. It's still the same thing. All we've done is we're using these different panels. Again, the only reason I ever wanted to do these panels was because of the, the non-availability that all the older panels could actually put us in a bind. If we took off Manda and these things ended up being, you know, available for, I mean, we sold a thousand of these and we can't come up with the panels for over a year. Right. I mean, we can't do that. We can't do that. No. So that's why we come up with the new panels. Yep, absolutely. But the, everything in here is the same as the original Incredibox. Now this shower looks bigger than 32. Is that only 36? Well, they're, they're always 36. Oh, they're 36? Yeah. I did not know. Yeah, they're always 36. I said 32 for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So, wow, it's a lot of room in here. I know it. It's really nice. I mean, it's a 20-footer. It's like, ha, you know what? You haven't been in a 20-footer in a while. But a this is, okay, so this is, the original Incredibox was 25,000. Mm -hmm. This new in a, this new one with the new panels is 30,000. Yes. Okay. And that, everybody, is just, it is, doesn't cover the full cost of these panels. Done. Because now we added that too, the flip table. That's been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've got that. And so if you're new to our channel and new to an Incredibox, this is a $30,000 home. Put your stuff in. You're ready to live. It's got a full kitchen, full bathroom. Yeah. Full, I mean, water heater. You got everything you need. Now, if you want a mini split, we put the mini split right here. Okay. Above the door, we run the line set in this. This is a empty cavity that we run water lines, gas lines. Okay. If you want it completely off grid, okay. we run the line set up on the tongue to where the compressor will be. Also, as you guys can see, we have plugs on both ends mm -hmm. here for a sofa. Mm -hmm. We got a plug here. Yeah, if you put a table, yeah. you put a table, you have a plug here. You have a plug here for a TV and that one, can be mounted. And one of the things is that you can either opt to have a fridge under here or you can have it over there or use yes. that as a closet. You got it. And have a fridge <clears throat> here. Either way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we've seen all different types of configurations. You know, this, this uh, flip up 
if it never was used, and this is enough countertop for you, you can actually put a refrigerator right here. True. Okay, use that as a closet. If you don't want, you could actually put a stand-up armoire here. But look at the difference in this living room that you have. It's 20 foot long. You can put your bed here or a sofa, right, Somehow and sleep up top. Point out, I just seen, I love the bigger window in the bathroom. Is that going to be a, was that? That's with call? the new panels. I love There'll that. be a bigger window in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. And you okay. have it. So there you go. These are our new paneled homes we'll be coming out with. The trim will be changing up a little bit. We're gonna to try to play around with the different types of trim and how it's gonna look, but it's still somewhat of a decorate it yourself. Again, you don't have to do either or the old panels or the new panels, you can just move in. It's up to you what kind of texture you want or wall covering. But as you know, this right here has no screws in it whatsoever. You know what I'm curious? I hope someone um, will wallpaper one of them. I'd like to know how wallpaper would do on it, if it would adhere to yeah. it. I'd say so. Probably. Wallpaper's making a comeback. I don't know if everybody knew that, but... Yeah. They well, got beautiful print. You know, with this being a smooth surface on our, when we order some new panels, it'll be easier to wallpaper. Sure. Now, we're considering maybe filling this in we don't have to but filling this in with a colored adhesive that will make it somewhat even not as evident mm -hmm. that if you do want wallpaper you could just wallpaper right over it i see what you're saying all right so today's video was just to show you our new and old homes at the incredible box what we're going with i'm actually building a cottage style home out of these new panels mm -hmm. we're building a floor system today Hope to have that out for you in a couple weeks. You guys can see the cottage style. Go back to our videos and look at the cottage style home. I'm super pumped about that. I think you're going to love it. It's 10 by 24 with a covered porch on it. And we're probably going to add a heating and air system. Going to have a farm style sink. It's going to be a cottage. All right. Now I have a question about this particular house. Since it's a prototype, is this one for sale? Yeah, you know, I was thinking that when I was walking okay, around in here. Like, hmm. I thought, what are we going to do with this? We'll let you know. Yeah, we sure will. Yeah. I mean, everything we've got is for sale. I'm for sale. Every, everything is for sale. <laughs> Except for Ace. Look Ace, at him. Ace is not for sale. No. Nope. He rests whenever he can. Bless his hey, thanks for tuning in, watching our channel. If you want to learn more about what we're doing, where we're going, how we're doing everything, Lord, we're, we're staying on top of a, a ton of different object, topics. But our biggest thing is I love to build homes and we love to invent ways of being able to have affordable housing. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you need a home that starts from 15,000 on up to 115,000, we have everything in between. Stay tuned. We are redoing our website. So go to our website right now. It's a little, a little confusing, a little bit, um, you know, I call it an online flea market. All right. <laughs> but we're about to change all that with new photos, videos and everything. So. Hey, you guys grow with us, and please, any of your thoughts, comments, we'd love to hear from you. You want to come and see us, make an appointment, love to see you, talk to you, and show, you, show off what we've created here. All right, everybody, have a good night.